Hello Sagittarius, I'm here to give you some insight and guidance for September 2020. So this is going to be basically like a spiritual reading. Um, I'm going to be using an old Celtic method or an old Celtic spread. Um, I will be using um, Sylvia Brown's reading cards, oracle reading cards. This is Sylvia Brown here. Um, Sylvia Brown is the number one New York Times bestseller. Uh, and she's a world-famous world psychic medium. She used to be on the Montel Williams show, so some of you may know her and some of you may not. Um, and I'm also using a tarot deck as well, so when I do lay the cards out, I'm going to um, put some tarot cards on top of that just to deepen the reading. Okay, so let's get started. So, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, so one, two. You guys can see that. Two, three, four, five. Let me try to get this in the frame. Five. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Five, six, seven. Okay. Oh. Time for the tarot cards. I hope you guys like the calming forest music. Well, it's not music, it's just crickets and it's just soothing to me. Okay. So first cards are going to be your present lifestyle. What's going on? Your present lifestyle. Okay. So first card here is if you're in a negative environment, it creates a block and positive energy can't get through. Okay, so some of you could be in a negative environment, negative relationship, negative job, something negative, okay? It's like your surroundings, all right? This environment could be within you, okay? But I kind of feel like this is outside of yourself. So next card is you can have a partner you love, but don't forget all the other loves such as friends, family, pets, and so on. So some of you could be overly consumed in your partner, Okay, so it's really a call for you to really have your own identity. This is for some of you, not all of you. Um, for others of you, if you've kind of just been really into your partner, into your social life, this is a call for you to really reach out to friends, family, connect with your pets, people that have been there for you. Don't forget about those people, okay? And last card here, we have the Sage of Crystal. So this is Page of Swords here. So... I see here there's an energy of someone spying, of course. You could be spying on someone or someone could be spying on you. But if that's not the case, this is acknowledgement. This is awareness, okay? And we have Albert Einstein right here hiding in the bushes. <laughs> not really the bushes, but crystals. And this is intellect. This is awareness, okay? This is clarity. This is being aware that you're in a negative environment. This, this is awareness of... Just awareness of where you're at currently and you know that this is not a place you want to be. Okay, it doesn't have to be a physical place. This could be a mindset as well. I also see this as a person, Sagittarius. I also see the Sage of um, Swords as a person, like kind of like a know-it-all. I see this person as a know-it-all. This could be someone else, of course, or it could be an aspect of yourself. Um, but I really feel like this is someone else. Someone, because um, it's like a message coming through, communications coming through, someone that kind of knows it all. 
okay um, but to really sum this up uh, this is just a call for you to you know cultivate more positive energy in your life and this positive energy can just be through family friends you know and this it, it takes your awareness you know it really takes your awareness okay so third card is going to be because we have one two three it's going to be what you're what you're dealing with. So what are you dealing with, Sagittarius? So it says, be careful that negativity doesn't lodge into your body. Um, visualize a green light around you for protection. So visualize a green light around you for protection. Next card here is Ten of Wands. Wow. So this is growth. But Ten of Wands is also about a card that's very, like, just burdensome, a card that is um, just really heavy energy so I really see here Sagittarius um, that you're going through a negative time or you have a lot on your plate and so since you have a lot on your plate this could be mentally um, just physically just around you um, it, 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 when you have that around you it, it tends to create negativity within you okay this could just be someone else this is um, could be a fire sign person Sagittarius Leo or Aries you know this could be an aspect of yourself really so um, it's really a call for you Sagittarius to you know release whatever's what's no longer serving you okay because I see here the ten of wands is about growth so you need to offload all of the baggage whatever the baggage is just, this could just be negative thinking this just could be um, too much responsibilities on you it really can be anything but this is a call for you to really let go of what has been burned you let go of what has been um, bringing negativity into your life okay all right um, what else am I seeing from that yeah I really feel like this is like other people for some of you this is like another person that's that's causing you some type of distress okay or it could be the other way around, an aspect of yourself. Um, but just be really careful with this negativity because negativity is coming up again. Okay? So four, it says unresolved problems or one that should be resolved. So these are unresolved problems. What are these unresolved problems? It says most of us don't have hours and hours to meditate. Just surround everyone with white light and give the day to God. And then we have Surfer, Man of Cups. So you could be dealing with the Water Sign Person or an Earth Sign Person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This could be an aspect of yourself as well, okay? Um, this is what has not been resolved, okay? Um, you're holding on to too much, Sagittarius. You're holding on to something. Um, you could be holding on to an offense that someone has committed against you, okay? Uh, I'm hearing blame, like an energy of blame. Maybe you blame yourself a lot, and it's really a call for you to release this, okay? Let go of this, okay? Um, also, some of you may be um, trying to connect with God or trying to connect with your higher self or source, and you're you're thinking that it has to be a specific way, and that's not really the case. Okay, uh, like it says here, most of us don't have um, hours and hours to meditate. We don't have time for that. <laughs> we get busy. Um, so what's really important is that you just surround everyone with white light, even the people that have committed offenses against you. You surround them with white light, and you just give it to God. You let go, and you let God. And when you're able to let go and let God, then you're going to be like the surfer. You're going to be like this uh, king of uh, cups here. Emotionally mature, which is most important. But you're going to be a surfer. You're going to be riding the wave. You're not going to be submerged in the negativity or submerged in your you know, past mistakes or regrets. All of that. Okay, so this is what needs to be resolved. Okay, learn to let go and release. Give it to God. And also when you give it to God, you have to have faith that things will work out divinely. Okay, or in divine timing. So five, we have what you were dealing with in the past. So what were you dealing with in the past? So in the past, it says um, spirituality is so simple. All you need to do is love God, do good, and then go home. And then the next card here, we have Ace of Crystals. 
Ace of Swords, which is brilliance. So this is what you were dealing with in the past. So some of you, um, you know, were very close to God and your spirituality. And, you know, you may have strayed a little bit. And when you strayed, it, it caused a block, uh, um, like a mental block. It, it, it um, how can I say this? It, the phone lines were cut, okay? Your phone line to God, your phone line to angels, okay? Because you strayed off the path, all right? Some of you have strayed off the path. Or in your past, you strayed off the path, okay? Um, you had, I'm hearing, um, lack of better judgment. In the past, you had lack of better judgment. Um, what else am I hearing from this? I'm hearing also suppressed emotions. You had um, some suppressed emotions, suppressed thoughts. You held everything inside. Okay. But I really feel like you guys are going to be, you guys are moving away from that. This is something you were dealing with in the past. Okay. You strayed. You strayed a little bit. It's like lack of better judgment. Okay, so these two cards that we have left here, these are the cards for the future. So going forward, going forward. So going forward, it says, put down on paper all the good qualities you have. You may be surprised by how wonderful you really are. And we have Nine of Cups, fulfillment. Okay, so I definitely see a wish fulfillment coming through. And then the next cards we have here. It says, even, in, even if dark-souled entities are in your own family, know that you can divorce yourself from them. And then we have the magician. Wow. So I see going forward, uh, some of you may have been um, verbally, okay, um, maybe verbally um, abused by a father figure or person in your life in your family it could really be anyone um you also could be dealing with this person still in your family or someone close to you that's kind of verbally abusive um i do see that you guys are going to be empowering yourself you're going to be um, rising above the negativity because I see the nine of cups and I see the magician card you guys are really um, doing the necessary work when it comes to your emotions okay I'm hearing an emotional cleanse and this emotional cleanse could be you know by doing certain rituals healing rituals to get you out of that dark or dense vibration and that healing ritual can entail just writing down positive affirmations, writing down qualities that you have, you know, because really it's it's about what you say It's what you say about yourself and it's not what others say about you, you know. So you may have, you know, have had people say really mean things to you and you've held on to those things. OK, you didn't you didn't see yourself as a divine being because you were judged. That's for some of you. OK, but this healing process is going to allow you to grow and to really have fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. OK, and it's, uh, communication is huge. Some of you may have a hard time communicating, speaking up for yourself when it comes to families. It could be a partner, really anyone. You know, you may have a hard time speaking up to these people. Uh, some of you may not have that problem, okay? But I really see here that positive affirmations and writing down good qualities will definitely help you feel fulfilled and empowered, okay? And I also see that you guys are going to be cutting off people that no longer serve you. And this doesn't have to just be in families. This can be in relationships. This could be friendships, okay? Um, for some of you, of course, it, it, it's um, talking about family, okay? The family, um, what else am I seeing here? And, you know, I'm hearing even family members, it can be like a spouse, it can be, I mean, anyone, <laughs> it 
you know, really anyone, okay, I see that you're going to be creating some healthy boundaries and opening up the lines of communication, expressing how you truly feel. And when you're able to express how you truly feel and where you stand, it, you're definitely going to have some fulfillment here. So wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the reading, Sagittarius. I hope you guys like this new style. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, feel free to send me an email. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.